Before we get to the battles, I want to shout out Ridge who has been sponsoring my channel for over six months and all the people who have supported me through this. I've been using my Ridge wallet for over half a year now and it's been such a great upgrade from my old wallet that was really heavy and chunky. After having this wallet for a long time, it's retained its strength, style and I basically use it every day. I feel safe going anywhere with my bank card as the Ridge wallet has built in RFID blocking to stop any scammers. This titanium wallet is durable, stylish and very minimalistic. The Ridge wallet comes in a variety of styles for you to choose what suits you the best. As well as this great wallet, Ridge had so many other great products like this durable keychain, ripstop drink sleeve and field notes if you're out in the go and about exploring. Ridge is confident you enjoyed this product with over 30,000 five-star reviews. You get free shipping, free returns if you don't like it, and a lifetime guarantee. Get this wallet and other great products by going to ridge.com slash pipnight. That's right, ridge.com slash pipnight and use code pipnight for 10% off. Link in the description. What's up with you for today's video with a full Pokemon Forms team for Generation 8. Now, we did cover a Forms team uh, quite a long time ago, a couple of years, I think. And uh, today, we're going to be doing the Generation 8 Forms because there's actually quite a few new ones. Now, I took out the legendary Pokemon and I added all the other ones I could think of. And we made a pretty cool team. Now, I really hope everyone is uh, okay at, there at the moment due to the current state of affairs. And uh, you're stocking up on your toilet rolls, hand sanitizer, flour... Man, I went into the shops and I couldn't even get one toilet roll. Like, I'm not even joking. Anyway, uh, on a more serious note, I'm going to have content almost every day because I know there's some people home uh, that actually stuck. Uh, the school's closed or whatever like that. So uh, if you're one of those people, let me know. I hope that everything's going right for you. And uh, seriously, uh, best wishes to everyone. All right, so we got two battles today and we got a Ferrothorn. Nothing like bursting a nice fresh, shiny Ferrothorn in the morning. So we're going to swap here from my Morpeko. More on that Morpeko set a little bit later. I was pretty much walled by that, so there's no point uh, me staying in. So we're going to be going into Galar Diamantins. Obviously, we've got the Zen mode as the other form in this one. And on the Morpeko, we've got the hungry and non-hungry form, uh, pretty much. So uh, I thought I'd go for a Belly Drum here because it's quite a good matchup for me. I can set that up. Uh, you know, Galar Diamantins always has a fire type move. But for some reason, Ferrothorn stays in. So it's like, why did it even stay in for? It knows I can one-shot it, but, you know, whatever. It's going to go for a Gyro Ball and take me out. So a very, like, sort of, like, weird uh, play there. I'm not... I don't know. Like, uh, I don't think they were expecting a Belly Drum. Anyway, um, that was Zen... That was a Zen mode, not uh, Gurula Tactics, by the way. So we've got the Toxtricity coming in. Obviously, there's a Toxtricity Amp form and a Low Key form. I'm going to be running a physical set today. I've got the Expert Bell as the item and Max Attack and Max Speed and Jolly Nature. So Ferrothorn withstands that Fire Punch. Unfortunately, obviously, due to Toxtricity, he doesn't have the greatest attack in the world. Not Stab and all those sort of things. And, of course, Ferrothorn is very bulky. So Ferrothorn's going to set up uh, some more spikes there. This is just being a general pain in the uh, Ferrothorn backside, which would be pretty spiky. But we're going to get rid of it in another shot. So we got Drain Punch here. Now, this is actually quite a good Dynamax Pokemon on the physical side. I know its speed kind of lets it down. But you can get some uh, Max Knuckles up with the Drain Punch and uh, be pretty powerful, with especially that Gunk Shock, if it lands, of course. So Ferrothorn is finally going to go down to a Fiery Fist. But, uh, man, Ferrothorn did a pretty good number on my team. Got rid of my uh, Galar Darmanitan and did over half health to my Toxtricity just due to its ability and uh, item. Okay, so that's down. That, that's good news, right? We still have uh, five other Pokemon to contend with, though. Now, next Pokemon is the Gyarados. So this was an interesting swap in. I didn't show off that I had any uh, electric type moves. But then again, I probably wouldn't use them. So this one is a going to be a wild charge straight to Gyarados's uh, red face. So we're going for that uh, wild charge there, and it's definitely not going to be living that one. Gyarados is down. Gyarados is such a scary Pokemon, too. Um, it can get a Moxie up and just pretty much sweet with the Max Airstream. It's crazy. So I was very, very happy to get rid of that. All right, next Pokemon we got here is the Toxicroak. Uh, I think they're running a shiny, a full shiny team, too. So I can go for any type of move here. I was expecting Fake Out a Sucker Punch. Th this Pokemon has a lot of priority, right? Uh, bullet Punch, like a Vacuum Wave. Had so much. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, Toxtricity down. But Toxtricity did a good job. Got rid of two Pokemon. Very, very nice there. Now we're going to bring back in the Morpeko. Now, Morpeko was a Focus Sash set. Focus Sash is obviously useless now. We got a Max uh, max Attack and Max Special Attack set. So we got Aura Wheel, Thunder, Volt Switch, and Protect. So Aura Wheel to get up my speed, and then obviously Thunder to sort of go against uh, some more uh, 
obviously uh, physical uh, physical variant sets that are not expecting a special hit. Anyway, so Toxicroak is going to outspeed me and more Peko is going to go down. Obviously, I was running a bit of a slower set, so... Uh, you know, they were obviously running a jolly set there too and out Spebby. Unfortunately, so now we've got Esku here. Esku is another belly drum set. We've got two belly drum sets on this one. I thought I'd run a little bit of a fun set with Ice School Sphere and King's Rock. And give it two other flinching moves, Zen Headbutt and Waterfall. So we got a Gung Troll here that's going to hit me in my Icy Face. Uh, icy Face, obviously, uh, or Ice Face is very nice on Esku. And obviously, this is its second form here. I think it's called Nice. Is it Nice Form? I think I just call it Nice Form. It's just easier to say. So go for that Belly Drum there. Obviously, upon going into this form, you get a lot more speed. And, uh, yeah, you're just going to be out of outspeed stuff really, really well. Now, I know that it's got Sucker Punch. I do have 50 health left, so I'm quite confident I could probably just, just leave and, uh, you know, go for a Zen Headbutt or an Icicle Sphere. But I really want to use Icicle Sphere, so I went for that. Now, this doesn't have, like, obviously, it doesn't have skill link or anything like that. So, you got to obviously put up with the uh, two to five turns hit. So, if this hits five turns, it's really good. But if it only hits two, uh, sometimes it can live after a belly drum, right? Had some situations there. All right, so Ditto's got to slide in here real quick. And it's going to copy all my stats and, of course, my form as well. So, like, okay, if this has got Choice Scarf, I'm in a bit of trouble here because this will outspeed me and take me up. It can use Waterfall, Zen Headbutt, or Icicle Sphere. Um, I just went for Waterfall, but I outsped. So they must be running a different item to the Focus Slash. Or not the Focus Slash, uh, the Choice Scarf. And uh, Ditto is going to go down. So suddenly we are back into this game. We've had a lot of, actually, we've had a lot of one-hit KOs in this game. Now we've got the uh, Cloister coming in there, uh, that shiny Cloister. And I can go for a Zen Headbutt. That's pretty much my best play. I know Zen Headbutt's not going to take it out. Cloister's got some very nice base defense. And uh, could be a, it could also be a Shell Smash set too. So go for that Zen Headbutt, hoping for a flinch here. And instead of going for Shell Smash, I think it just wanted to get rid of me. It's going to go for a uh, Skill Link Rock Blast there. And my Esku is going to go down. That's pretty good though. It uh, took out the Ditto and did a good hunk of damage to the closer. Oh, it also took out the Toxic Rogue too. So that was pretty good. All right, next Pokemon we got is the Cramran. So obviously Cramran has a couple of forms there. It's got its Pikachu form, its Golpy form. And it's gorging form as well, which is really cool. The best Gen 8 Pokemon, guys. It's my favorite. All right, so go for the Surf here. Hoping, hoping, uh, desperately hoping I can take it out there. And, you yeah, know, closest special defense isn't the greatest in the world. So we got a little baby Varascootie in my mouth, which is all good. Now, I have noticed they haven't actually Dynamax yet, and they've got Mimiku left. Now, I still have one other Pokemon left, and it's, it's Mimiku, which is going to be a bit of a problem here. So I can go for a Surf. Or a dive. I've got max speed. Sorry, I've got max attack and max special attack. Dive with the power herb. I've got endure and brave bird. So this is like another mix set, kind of like that. Um, not the Esku, the uh, the Morpeko. Very very similar. So now we got the uh, Mimiku going for a sword dance. That's actually really good because that's going to allow me to get rid of its disguise and you know and go for surf as well. Plus I've still got my Pokemon, a uh, little Barrascooter in my mouth there too, which is going to fire off and do some damage. So Disguise is busted, and I was like, okay, they have to go for a Dynamax now. They're like, there'll be no point in them not going for a Dynamax. They haven't used the strongest mechanic in Pokemon ever, so like, why are they not going to use it? So then I was thinking, maybe I should go for Endure to stall out a turn. And I was like, what if they don't and go for another Sword Dance? That could be a waste of turn. And then I was like, it doesn't probably matter. I'm just going to go for an attacking move here and do as much damage as possible. But then they Dynamax, I was like, okay. They're going to Dynamax the next turn when I bring in my last Pokemon. So I wish I kind of went for the Endure there, but that's how uh, you know, the cookie crumbles. So we're getting some damage there, getting a defense shot, which is nice. Not that it's really going to matter because i got one other Pokemon, but it's a special attacker. So Mimiku's got Life Orb and it's got a Sword Dance up. And of course, the last Pokemon we got is the Poltergeist. So Poltergeist does have uh, two different forms. Um, it's got the Normal and the uh, Antique form. You can see the little uh, or authenticity, I think that's the right word, like a little label on its backside. Like, you got a teapot right in real life, and there's like that little, um, not a sticker, but like a little label I'm saying, like, this is an authentic teapot, you know, or this is authentic China, you know what I mean? Anyway, so uh, we got this uh, Dynamax, uh, we got the Dynamax Mimiku, but I didn't Dynamax right, because I'm running a Choice Scarf Poltergeist, so I thought, if they're Dynamax, which I 1000% know they're going to do, They'll probably think, oh, I'm going to Dynamax, right? And they'll need that extra base power to take me out instead of going for Shadow Stick. But I went for Shadow Ball, and Mimiku is going to go down. So that was very, very good prediction there, getting around uh, Mimiku, if I do say so myself. And that is the first game, a very, very tight battle there, too. A lot of, actually, a lot of one-hit KOs, like, all throughout that. 
So many one-hit KOs. All right, uh, thank you for the battle comic as well, if you ever uh, watched this video. All right, let's get on to the second one. This was a battle against Mel Melvin RG. I need a good old drink here. I've done uh, five hours of streaming today, and I've done this. Oh, I'm pretty tired. I'm nearly ready to hit the, uh, hit the hay, hit the sack, all right? All right, so we got the uh, Rotom, uh, Rotom oven here. We got the Rotom oven right Like I think my battle the last one, we had like a Rotom form and uh, Rotom wash in the oven. We're in the wrong place. You guys were like roasting me for that. So we're starting off with more Pekka here. I'm going to go for a Protect here because I want to get into Hangry mode and uh, change the type of Aura Wheel. Now, Aura Wheel is a really cool move. You guys know what this move does already. If you don't, pretty much each when you go into each of its modes, the typing of the moves changes. So obviously, uh, it's going to be a Dark type move at the moment and in the um, obviously non-Hangry form. Um, I'm going to go for an electric type move for Aura Will. So Aura Will does some really impressive damage there, which is nice. They went for a will o -Wisp and they missed. So that was really, really good there. Now, I think they expected me to swap the first turn. Like, uh, personally, that's what I was thinking. So they got the leftovers on the uh, road top oven there. Uh, they're going to withdraw too, which is interesting. And uh, they got the Blastoise coming in. So they brought in their Blastoise in hopes that, you know, I'd go for a uh, stab type... Uh, even just a stab or a wheel or whatever like that, and it's not going to be super effective. But uh, I'm not in that mode at the moment. So I could go for a Thunder or I could go for a Volt Switch. I'm thinking Thunder could be a good play because I might be able to paralyze them. I know that I won't take them out because Blastoise has pretty good special defense base and it's a fairly bulky Pokemon. They don't know that I've got Focus Station, so I'm guessing they're hoping that um, they'll be able to one-shot me right. So we got an Aura Sphere coming from the Blastoise there, as I kind of expected. And that Focus Ash is going to save my little purple behind. I kind of like how more Pekko's tails like the Pikachu, you know, the inbuilt Pikachu tail. Right, uh, so I'm back in my normal form here. I can go for an Aura, aura Wheel. I was nearly set an Aura Sphere there. All these Aura moves, man. Uh, they swapped out and they went into Hitmontop. Now, Hitmontop, no doubt, has Intimidate, which is going to drop my attack. Now, I do have Thunder. I do know this thing does have, like, Fake Out, uh, Bullet Punch. Like, it's got a lot of uh, Mac Punch. It's got a lot of, uh, um, you know, low base power uh, Technician sets. But it's not Technician, it's Intimidate. But regardless, I thought, let's go for Protect and see what it's going to do. I might be able to change my form as well, which could be handy. So, they're going to go for a Bullet Punch here. Now, right, I was actually doing this battle on stream. Right when that Pokemon used Bullet Punch, right, I checked, I looked to the side and looked at my chat to say hi to people. And then I looked back and then he went for Bullet Punch. I was like, oh, I would have, like, 100% would have swapped then if I didn't look away. So this this was actually a battle during my live stream. So that's why I stayed in. If you, that was sort of like a strange play. So anyway, um, there's nothing I can do there. I'm going to go for a Choice Scar Psychic and hopefully take out this Hitmontop. Hitmontop already sustained some prior damage and that is going to go down. Um, Hitmontop actually doesn't have too bad special defense too, so I was hoping I could, you know, bury that one quickly. All right, so we got the Dragapult coming out here. Net man, I've never seen Dragapult ever. One day, man, I hope to see another Dragapult again. You know, it's such a rare Pokemon. So now we're going to do a swap into Cramorant here. We got a physical uh, Dragon Dancing set. So I'm thinking Dragon Darts. Uh, this could be a big problem, right? I was thinking I could swap in Esco of Ice Face, but it could be able to get around that if I got the uh, Dragon Dart set. All right, so I don't have a lot of options at the moment. It's going to go for a Phantom Force. I was like, oh, okay. So instead of going for Dragon Darts, it's got Phantom Force. So Phantom Force is going to drop really hard. Phantom Force has a lot of base power at the price of, um, you know, having two turns sort of charge up. So uh, I'm going to go for the Endure here because I know that I'm going to get one shot. Uh, Dragon Bolt's going to spank me on my natural blue ass, but I'm going to live on one health there, and it's going to take some life or damage. That's the best I can pretty much do. And then it's going to go for a Sucker Punch. So it's got Dragon Dance and Sucker Punch, which is really interesting there. So it's got one other move. I was like, what does it have? got quick attack guys so many times during stream i've been beaten by quick attack dragon ball it's not even funny like it's actually a meme like the meme turned into something true like it was crazy how many i've seen so we're into esku now i can go for an icicle sphere um it could go for a dragon arts if it has dragon arts i know that i can live but it, we, we, it went for a phantom force instead it's like okay so it clearly doesn't have that move it clearly doesn't have maybe it's got like a special move it's courage but then again i feel like it uses so it must have another move hmm I'm trying to think off the top of my head what it'll be running. Anyway, so I get spanked on my ice cube, and uh, that is going to break my ice face. So obviously, I'm a lot faster now, and I'm going to go for the ice school sphere. Now, I don't have a belly drum or anything up there, and Dragon Bolt has reasonable bulk to it, so I'm hoping I can hit this thing like a couple of times. So there's the first ice school sphere. The second one's going to drop a little bit hard on the first, and we get that third ice school sphere. That was very, very important there. 
So this set works really well once you've lost your ice face because obviously when you've got your ice face on, you're not as fast. And uh, you kind of need that, you know, you want that King's Rock to like break in on the opponent when you outsped him. So we've got the uh, Weavile coming in here. It's got to go for the Fake Out. Fake Out does some pretty good damage. Now, I know this thing's probably going to be packing like something like Knock Off, uh, Night Slash, anything like that. The best I can really do is Waterfall, right? Instead, it went for a low sweep, man, and tried to kick my Pingo in the face, and it did, but it didn't take it out. So my speed's going to drop. Not that it matters. It already outsped me, and uh, now my Pingu's going to go up the Waterfall. Man, I haven't watched Pingu in ages. Pingu is like this little penguin, right? And it was like, uh, I think it said something like Newt Newt or something. I don't know what it said. It's like Newt Newt. It, like, it, it, and then the whole family of them would say that too. Man, I watched that when I was like two. Or, um, they, were good. they were the gold days, man. Anyway, so I'm going to bring Toxtris here. I almost went into Poltergeist and expected them to go for another low sweep, but they went for knockoff, so I'm glad I didn't do that. All right, so we're going to knock off again from the Weavile. It's going to knock off my expert belt. Not that it matters, though, because I'm going to be able to take this out easy with a Drain Punch there, uh, being four times super effective, and getting some nice uh, health sustain for my Toxtricity, which is good. So well into the green now. So we've got a Blastoise left. We've got a Rotom Oven, and we've got one other. So the next Pokemon we haven't seen is the Coma. Now, this was a problem Pokemon, because there's not a lot I could do. I was thinking, if this has got Bulletproof right... This is going to be quite hard to take out. Like, I don't have much that's very, like, effective against this either. So I decided to go for Drain Punch. That was sort of, like, my best bet here to try and do some damage and get some health back, right? Doesn't do a lot of damage. Plus, I don't have anything super effective. So, um, and Toxtricity's attack isn't very good either. So we got Clangor of Scum here. Uh, this attack is very, very good. So it's going to boost its stats. Um, the, I guess the only good thing about this is actually going to lose some of its health. That, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's the only good thing about it. All the rest is bad news, people. It's going to get a lot of boost in its stats. So, obviously, my attacks are not going to be doing that much here. Oh, I can go for a Gunk Shot. I can go for a Drain Punch. I know that I'm going to get outsped. And I think it's got Earthquake, and it's going to go for Earthquake. And Toxtricity is going to be no more. So, all I can do now is send in my Poltergeist, which has Psychic Choice Scarf, right? Now... I was thinking, after a, after a Clang or a Scum, right, I don't think I'm going to be able to outspeed them, even, even with my Choice Scuff, right? Now, I did go Modest Nature on this one instead of Timid, because I needed a little bit more damage output, right? I really needed that extra damage output. So they were thinking for a long time here what to do, and then they went for Earthquake. So, like, okay, they outspeed me, that sucks. Poltergeist just hangs on on 23 health, which is great there. It's going to activate my Weak Armor, too. So, like, that's kind of handy, because... I can go for a Dynamax, right, and not worry about the speed loss from losing my Choice Cup, right? So go for that Psychic, and uh, Dragon Dragonazo is going to go down. Was that a nickname, or was that actually like another language? I feel like it was um, just a nickname. So we've got a Blastoise left, and we've got a, a Oven left. So we need a... Man, look at those Oven Mitts. I want to get like a pair of Oven Mitts, right, that are Rotom Hands. That'd, that'd be some good merch. Is, is that a thing already? Like actual Pokemon merch of Rotom Oven's gloves, man. That'd like... That'd be super cool. I want some of them. And like, you get it, you could even put batteries in it and, 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 and give yourself a little shot. Maybe not. That'd probably be bad. So anyway, um, I can go for a... I was thinking, should I go for a Max uh, Phantasm? I've got that plus one in speed already, which will be very, very helpful. And there's a Blastoise left, right? So I've still got one more Pokemon uh, waiting in the wings, but uh, we haven't set that one out quite yet. So I was like, let's go for the Dynamax. Dynamax are low health. They may actually uh, not predict this one. All right, so going for that big... Guys, can you see that little authentic authentication little um, tag there? You see it below? You can only really see it from behind or uh, just below. It's quite not something you can really uh, pick up too much. So going for the Max um, Max Phantasm. I nearly said Max Orgasm. And uh, we, got, we got the Rotom, Rotom Oven going down. All right, so the last Pokemon we got is the Blastoise. Now, they have a Dynamax shed, but uh, Blastoise has taken a fair amount of damage. Blastoise is a shiny, like... I don't know. It, it looks a li I guess it looks a little bit better. It's still that. It's still like a mauve color. Maybe they could have done more of that shiny. I'm not sure. So, uh, just waiting for them to make the move at the moment. I know they're going to go for a Dynamax. I can go for a Max Overgrowth coming off Giga Drain too. Um, I know Blastoise does have a lot of special defense or like a decent amount of special defense and bulk in health. But it has sustained a lot of damage. And I've got a plus one in attack too. So, I know that I'm going to be able to outspeed it. All right, so we've got a big old Blastoise there. Uh, fun fact too, Blastoise gets uh, Shell Smash now. I might have to do a, a Shell Smash Blastoise sweep. Like, 
I don't know. I, would, I honestly wouldn't be too hard. I could even do like a mix set, right? Because uh, it has good attack and good special attack. Anyway, so firing a couple of seeds out of my teapot there, making a couple of mushrooms. And that, my friends, is the second battle. Hope you guys had fun watching this. It was, uh, it was a pretty fun team to do. So many different forms uh, to play with. So maybe we'll get some more forms in the DLC. I'm not sure. I really like Pokemon forms. They're fun to use. If you enjoyed this video too, people, please drop a like on it. I definitely appreciate that. And I should be back tomorrow with the gym leader team and, of course, some streams. Bring you the content while you are at home. All right, people. Peace out.